It's 1642 and the English Civil War has begun. The conflict started as a power struggle between the supporters of King Charles I, the Royalists, and the supporters of Parliament, known as Parliamentarians. King Charles believed he had a God-given right to rule as he wished, and the Parliamentarians believed that Parliament should be the supreme power. In Herefordshire, which was a staunchly Royalist county, the Harley family, whose principal seat was in Brampton Bryan, declared their support for Cromwell, the leader of the Parliamentarians, as they had strongly held Puritan views. And this brought them into conflict with the Royalist authorities who had taken charge of the county. The head of the family, Sir Robert Harley, an important figure in Parliament, stayed in London and left his wife Lady Brilliana to cope with the difficulties at home. Brilliana, her children, staff and 50 local supporters held the castle. In July 1643, a force of up to 700 men marched to the north of the county. They were led by Sir William Vavasor and began a substantial siege of Brampton Bryan Castle. was unsuccessful. The mighty Lady Brilliana's leadership quickly became famous far and wide. Such courage was never expected from a woman and she gained huge respect. However, three months later, the strain of leading the defence of the castle had damaged Lady Brilliana's health and she passed away aged 43. Shortly before she died, she wrote to Edward, her son. My dear Ned, how much I long to see you I cannot express. And if please the Lord, I wish you were at Brampton again. After Brilliana's death, her three young daughters were left in Brampton Bryan Castle and her family doctor, Nathaniel Wright, was put in charge of the defence of their home. A second royalist siege started in spring 1644, led by Sir Michael Woodhouse. It was much more effective because they brought heavier weapons after only three weeks, Dr. Wright surrendered to the Royalists. The castle was destroyed and Brilliana's three daughters were taken to prison in Shrewsbury. Brampton Bryan was almost completely destroyed in the fighting. But the battered village slowly rose again from the ashes. The cruel civil war saw the old church destroyed, but the foundations of a new church were soon laid and completed in 1656. It was one of only six in England completed while Oliver Cromwell was still Lord Protector. It has survived for well over 350 years and still continues to serve the community today.